So ever since I released chapter one of my Sierra Space Tour, a lot of you have been patiently waiting to see what's on the other side of this glass, namely Sierra Space's dream chaser named Tenacity. And up to this point, I have not been allowed to show you any of it. I actually don't have any of this footage because Sierra Space's security is still going over it with a fine tooth comb to make sure that no proprietary technology is released. To be completely clear, nobody, no news agency of any kind has been allowed to film anything that's been going on on this factory floor recently. So what you guys will ultimately be seeing is something that nobody else has been seeing. And let me tell you something, it is quite unique. And to give you an idea of the fact that I'm not giving you a whole load of about what I saw, here's a brief glimpse of what I am allowed to show you on the other side of the glass, which is the Shooting Star, the cargo module that is attached to the end of the Dream Chaser to significantly increase its cargo capacity. It also serves as a miniature space station after its primary mission is completed. And there's quite a lot of details that I'll be sharing about this as well. But here's one little piece of information for you SpaceX fans. Some questions were asked of me. Since a human rated dream chaser would not have a fairing, would it be allowed to fly on a Falcon 9? And, well, the answer to this question is yes, even though this particular Dream Chaser is depicted flying on top of an Atlas V, which is a human-rated rocket just like the Falcon 9 is, the Atlas V is going out of production. There's only 24 of them left, so no human-rated Dream Chasers are going to fly on an Atlas V. So, actually, the Falcon 9 is one of the few human-rated rockets that are going to be able to carry a human rated dream chaser in the future and here's something else to consider spacex recently announced that they are discontinuing production of the crew dragon they're only going to have a few of them so it's entirely possible that we could have these things flying in the future atop falcon 9 rockets assuming that the vulcan centaur doesn't become a widely used human rated rocket which is a strong possibility possibility, but it doesn't exclude the use of Falcon 9 and Dream Chaser. As a matter of fact, at present, they are the only two rockets, or two vessels rather, that could be used in conjunction with one another realistically, given the situation with Atlas V. Just a little piece of information for you before part two of the video comes out just as soon as the footage is released. So until then, stay angry about space.